Hello, everyone. Hi there. Can you see me? Can you hear me? Can we start the lesson? <laughs> How are you today? So, today is lesson number four of our English start. And today we go to a Roblox City quest. We will learn the places in town, learn how to give directions, and of course play some games, talk and chat, and have fun. So, how are you guys? How are you today? Do you remember the lesson about the emotions? Maybe some of you feel exciting, or shy, or tired. How are you? you just use the chat to tell me about your emotions, and let's start. So, the first question I have for you, so in our lesson for Roblox City Quest is, what do you see from your window? I think everyone has a window in the room. Now look in the window and tell me what can you see? What do you see from your window? For example, you can see the park, you can see the school, the playground. When I look into my window, I can see some trees, some the blue sky. What else do I see? Flowers. I can see flowers. So what about your windows? Tell me. Maybe someone can see the dragon outside the window. <laughs> so don't be afraid to make the sentences. I can see. Who says I don't know? Why? Maybe the sky. Maybe the trees. So tell me. All right. Maybe someone sees the cat or the dog or the friends play on the playground. So tell me, what do you see from your window? And after that, we'll start and learn some new words. We will learn the places in the Roblox city. Okay, the first place in the city. I see tree. Okay, I see the comment. I see trees and cars. I see tree. Okay. Now the first one is a park. Okay, the park is a place where you can. Now I want you to say five actions you can do in the park. Can you watch a movie there? Can you see your friends? Can you jump, run, or something? Tell me five actions what you can do in the park. Let's start. I will check if you know. So let me see the comments. I can see a playground. I can see a pool. Wow, two sentences. I see pool. <laughs> That's great. Are you studying together? So what can you do in the park? Maybe I can help you to start. I can, uh, what can you do in the park? I can run, I can run to play some games, to play hide and seek. What else? Can you sleep in the park? Sleep on the bench? No? All right, run, jump. What else? Eat ice cream, maybe? What else? Not, not sleep. <laughs> Maybe play hide and seek. Hide and seek. Yes, okay. Play football. I like this one. Play. Okay, just play. Any more ideas? What can you do? Okay, we got five. We got five actions we can do in the park. Be with friends. Play with the ball. I like your answers. Okay, so let's finish it. Let's go to the second one, which is a shop. Shop is a place where you can go to buy something if you have money. If you have money, you can get the toys, ice cream, sweets, even cats or dogs in the, in the pet shop, right? Okay, now let's name five shops, five types of shop. What can you buy? I start. Bookshop, clothes shop. Makeup shop. What other shops do you like? What other shops do you know? What shops you can go to every day? For example, where do you buy the food? Pizza, ice cream, sandwiches. 
What shop is that? How to name this shop? If you know, that's okay. If you don't know, I tell you. That's the grocery. Grocery shop is a place where you can buy food to eat every day, right? The grocery shop, toy shop, food shop, supermarket. That's a nice one. Thank you, Natalia. That's a supermarket. All right, let's go to the next word, which is the school. Okay, school is a place where you go to study, to read, to write. Now tell me, okay, now tell me, do you go to school? How many days a week do you go to school? Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, five days, or Saturday too? Okay, or Saturday too. How often do you go to school? Okay, Gabriella said the bookshop, makeup shop, clothes shop, food shop, toy shop, and the pet shop. That's good. All right, let's do the next one. We learn the school, and the next one here is a playground. Playground is very simple, right? It's the place where we play. The play, uh, we can play hide and seek, we can slide. Here is a slide, we can climb on monkey bars. All right, that's the playground. Okay, and the last word here is a pond. Pond. Pond is interesting because, you know, ocean is huge, right? Very big. Sea, the sea is smaller. What else smaller? The lake, the river, and pond is the smallest. Pond is very small. You can only see small fish there, ducks, frogs, but you can't see the shark there, right? Or a big fish. Pond is small, and sometimes you can have the pond in your house, right? If you live in a private house, there can be a pond. So this one is a pond. All right, we finished all the words for today, but let's continue and play some games. The question is, what is next to the pond? What can we see next to? When you're on the pond, you look around, and what can you see? Now, I want you to turn on the imagination and write ideas. For example, these are just examples. I can see trees next to the pond. I can see bushes next to the pond. I can see grass next to the pond. Now it's your turn. What else can you see next to the pond? If, yeah, you must know, it's simple. You can look at this one. Just look, who is that? A small green, small green something. All right. It's a fro frog. All right. What else? Can you see grass? That's okay, but we had the grass before. All right. Maybe you can see some stones. Maybe you can see some other animals. So, any ideas? Maybe the dragon. <laughs> okay, anyway, let's finish the sentence. You can say the sentence with me. I can see trees. I can see bushes. I can see grass. I can see, what's that? Frog. I can see... Maybe something else. Okay, I can see bench next to the bench. I can see the bench. Flower, I like this one. Flower, bench, frog, trees, bushes, grass. Yes, we can see many things. Okay, let's do one more. Let's do one more about the school. What is next to the school? So here is, I can see a lamp. Next to the school, I can see children, I can see buses. Now it's your turn. What else can you see next to the school? All right, tell me. Any, any ideas? Imagine you go, you go to school from your house. What else can you see? 
I will write every word you can leave teacher. I can see a teacher next to the school. All right, thank you, Ilya. That was good. Anyone else who wants to who wants to answer, use the chat. Mm -hmm. All right, the buses. Yes, very good. How about the how about the playground? Okay, playground trees. I can see everything next to the school again. Next to park is also very good. Park. Here is the park. Great job. We have one more. Let's do one more about this shop. Look here. What is next to the shop? I can see a road. I can just draw it. Here. Now, what can you see? A lamp. Also very good. We can use the lamp from the past slide to right we can see the not the park but park is also okay i can see a park next to the shop i can see a lamp i can't even draw it for you here is something like a lamp okay i'm not a good artist <laughs> this one looks like a lamp all right how about some pets? Dogs, cats, trees. I can see trees next to the shop. That's nice. Okay, I like your activity today. You're very active. That's right. Bus stop. Thank you, Natalie. It's also very good. So now I want you to look at some new words. Turn right, left, straight. So let's start. The first one is turn right. When you give the direction, someone says how to get to the library, how to get to the bus stop. You say turn right. Okay, let's say it. Turn right. Okay, what if you need to go there? We say turn left left or right so one more time let's say it together turn right turn left your turn right okay turn right and turn left this is how we say the directions one more is go straight go straight now let's say it together when you don't need to turn you just what do you do go straight okay that's right let's do one more what does here we can see the word corner who knows what is corner if you if you know you just tell me i know if you don't know say i don't know <laughs> so corner it's like this if you are in the room with four walls okay here is let me draw the corner this one is a corner this one is a corner too today i ate a crab wow how did it taste was it tasty okay and here is the corner so four corners and the last one here is a street street is a place outside your house maybe when you look out of your window you can see the the cars, the road. So all together, this is the street. So now let's play a game. We have an interesting game and we need to help Charlie to find the pond. Here is Charlie in Roblox, his friend Amy in Roblox. So, oh my God, who ate the dog? <laughs> no, no dogs, please. So the Charlie in the Roblox, Amy, and they need to find a pond. Okay, we have A, B, C variants, A, B, C answers. So please check it and say where do we need to go? Let's go. The first one. Let's ch check the first one. Go straight, turn left. Is it a pond? No, I guess that's not A, so we just skip it. How about C? Let's try C. 
go straight turn right go straight is there a pond no there isn't a pond so c doesn't go all right now finally let's check b okay i will take another color go straight turn right go straight turn left finally yes we are at the pond we found the pond wonderful so the answer is b this is how you give the directions very simple right okay now i want you to review all the words we learned because we almost finished okay let's check all the words once again and i have something for you in the end so look at this park don't forget to repeat after me so just say the word park good number two shop that's the shop okay the next one school you good job the next one playground say it loud playground all right and last one is a bond say that bond yes i hope you repeating after me so we almost done and i wanted to say that our lessons at school at all right if you are not an all right student are not just basic english we don't just read write we learn english while painting we have the english plus painting classes english plus singing classes or playing lego or roblox or minecraft i give you the link if you are new you have one more free lesson so you can check for free i will see you tomorrow our next lesson is superhero saga tomorrow we will talk about the superheroes we have the last lesson tomorrow so don't forget to come i will wait for you so thank you for you okay any question i can see the please answer <laughs> so thank you so much for coming goodbye goodbye